Hello everyone, this is Kim with Journaling with Kim. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to be doing the unboxing for the new By the Well for God devotional called Waiting in the True. Now, if you've never done a devotional kit from By the Well for God, I highly recommend it and this one definitely. Um, let's get to it. Uh, the first thing I like to do is to go through my little goodie bag, which each kit that you purchase from By the Well for God, you do get a extra goodie bag from Mori, which I totally adore. It's always a surprise. You're never too sure of what you'll get in there. Uh, we know we'll get a tiny stamp, and I do love this one. It comes with the succulents in a little cup that says hope. I do enjoy the floor themes that we have going on for these individual studies. Oh, so, there you go. You have the succulents in the cup with the word hope. And you have the, the little card with a scripture verse. I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. And this is from Isaiah 43, 19. I like sticking these around my house. They can be seen on my mirrors, on the wall, by the light switch. Or you could hand them out as gifts, you know, little tokens. You could also use them in your journaling as well. And it comes with two ribbon paper clip tabbies um, one thing that can be done the ribbons are the cloth on the tabbies they're doubled so if you want to stretch these tabbies you could pull these out retie them and from this one tab you could get two and here we have the die cut succulents and cacti cactuses beautiful gorgeous muted tones to be used for the summer and you also get a tile alpha that matches the kit perfectly and of course the personalized note from Lori and the by the well for God team I look forward to reaching the reading these each month so from our goodie bag or a little extra goodies we will go straight to the kit of course the kit always comes nicely wrapped in the black and white floral tissue paper but I do love to say it I will show some pictures of how I've used this at a later date comes neatly tied in the teal mesh bowl with a pin. Can these bones live? From Ezekiel 37 verse 3. And let's pull out all the things that we get in this kit each month. Again, the kit is called Waiting, to, Waiting in the Two. Finding Hope in Times of Drought. As usual, it comes in this gorgeous gorgeous canvas drawstring bag that you could always store and transport your kit in so along with the pin that is on the bowl that ties the kit together we get two other pins that's on the inside hope and joy I've been putting my pins on my laptop case that I walk with daily it's a constant reminder of God's promises to me. Going in, we have the title sticker, Waiting in the Two, Finding Hope in Times of Drought. Again, the sticker can be placed at the front of your traveler's notebook, your illustrating Bible, or just your regular notebook, just at the front to keep track of all the devotionals that you've worked through what I have done is and I I put the sticker in the front of my Bible 
and I normally put the date of where I started the devotional and then when I end I go back and put an ending date that just keeps me giving me a nice idea or keep track of what I have worked through and when we also have these die cuts waiting in day two we have the nice little watering can the vintage watering can with the succulents dripping or trailing out of it gorgeous basket and all these beautiful floral pieces that can be used Ooh, love the typewriter love 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 this vintage looking typewriter uh, the tabs that we have this month or for this kit is a little smaller than the regular tab that we're used to if you could do look at the comparison this is a regular size they're about regular size tab that we're used to these are a little bit smaller uh, can be used for layering definitely layering your tabs building up on them hmm? and a nice touch of the fabric piece that you could use in your journal entries again you could use this fabric piece again you could use it to make more paper clip tabbies uh, Another familiar trend is to do a pleated ruffle and layer it between, layer it underneath uh, additional pieces that you're putting in your journal. Stitch it in, sew it in. So we have those for the die pieces. We have another little card with the title of the kit. Again, waiting to exhale. It again has another scripture verse, a favorite of mine from James 1 verses 2 to 4 count it all joy my brothers when you meet trials of various kinds for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness and let steadfastness have its full effect that you may be perfect and complete lacking in nothing James had it right when he said you know count it all joy in whatever trial or whatever tribulations whatever issues you may be facing Again, we have an additional two fabric paper clip tabbies, so you're ending up with four, two from the kit itself and two from the goodie bag. Again, we have the Daniel Smith Extra Fine Watercolors. Again, just samples of the watercolor that is offered by Daniel Smith. And if you do find yourself falling in love with them and you want to get the larger portion of these watercolors you can go ahead and get this through the Etsy shop from by the well for God so yes I've loved using these I've never run out of them so far while completing a kit and I always save them to use them at a later date with other projects And we have the three pages of translucent stickers that comes along with the kit. More floral pieces. Loving the touch of purple. It does remind me of my girlfriend whose favorite color is purple. Still has my touch of pink. So purple and pink, we have it good. And the third piece, the third has the samples of fake washing tape. There you go. Again, we have three cards that can be used as bookmarkers, can be used as tip-ins. On one side, you have this nice graphic at the end. As usual, it does come with a, I like to think, logo of the By the Well for God truck. And if you've ever looked at all the devotionals offered by By the Well for God, it always has that standard truck with whatever element from that kit spilling out of the back of the truck so for each three for each of these 
tippings, bookmarks. You have the graphic, the illustration at the back with enough space for you to journal, to go ahead and add more graphics if you would feel to do so. And on the opposite, on the flip side, you can have a scripture verse. So if you're running short on time and you'd like to do a quick journaling, you could always add this as a tip in because it does come scale to size to fit in a standard journaling Bible, that two inch margin. And you have the coordinating alpha stickers, alpha letter stickers that goes with the kit. As well as the gorgeous stamps. Loving the floral pieces, layering them to create your own bouquet. So here we go. Let's see if we could get rid of some of that glare so you can see there. We have uh, these four words, trials, steadfastness, joy, waiting. There you go. And then the best part of this all is the devotional. Now I went ahead, this is a 14 day devotional or that can be used to last you for an entire month if you follow the suggestion that is laid out here in the introduction. It does say there are 14 days to this devotional study. The intent is that you read through a day's devotional one day, then spend the next day meditating on God's word and journaling in your Bible. So if you do that, you can end up with a kit or a devotional that lasts you throughout the entire month. Now it says praising God is easy when we are on the mountain top of our lives when things are going well, but there's a danger in dwelling at such heights, not just the obvious danger of falling down to the depths, but a subtler danger. When things are going well in life, it is easy for us to take our eyes off God. To lose focus, we forget that it is God who we found so easy to praise at first, who got us there. We forgot God's role in our life. We forget to praise him. Contrast that with dwelling in the valleys of life. Here it can feel very difficult to praise God, very difficult to lift our eyes from the floor of the valley and gaze at the peaks above us. But when we do, the peaks hold our attention or focus stay on God. This is what James wrote about in James 1, 2, 4 when he said, count it all joy. And I went ahead and I was reading the first day, day one, life is hard. And it was so heartfelt and heart rendering. And I can't wait to dive into the rest of the devotional. And if day one was just so overwhelming for me, I cannot begin to imagine what the rest of the devotional will be. It talks about Jesus and when he died and how on day two, he was still dead. Even though people might say that, you know, get through today tomorrow will be better or the next day will be better it's still the same hardship it's still the same struggle it's still missing someone else but i really did love this and the reflection question it says at the end was reflect on how the disciples would have felt as they were waiting in day two can you draw on your own experiences to imagine how they felt and i'm pretty sure that we have all at one point or another been in such a position so can't wait to go into that one and i went ahead and i picked up the coordinating alpha stickers and alpha tile stickers that went along with the kit these are also available on the by the love for god st shop and we have seven colors in here seven stickers we have the pendable secure green blue reliance Confidence Blue, Lavender Reward, Pale Peach Desire, and Secure Rose. So this is very similar to the sticker that comes in the kit. The coordinating pieces, the extra add-ons, are just a bit more translucent, a bit more clear through, where this is a bit thicker. And I've never seemed to run out of these stickers when I'm doing the kit, so I have a lot of them 
well not a lot but a few saved up from the previous kits that I use with my other pieces I do like to use the tile alphas when working on my tabs for my pages so see I still have a few left over from previous kits then here we go for the tile alpha sticker this is a set of five we have expectant yellow pink aspiration green belief secure green and confidence blue so again if you're keeping track there are five tile alphas along with the tile alpha that was given in the goodie bag so you're ending up with six tile alphas and for the regular alphas you're ending up with eight because we have seven in the kit sorry seven in this package along with the one that comes in the kit so you're ending up with eight so a lot of alphas to do your journaling and here goes the extra stamps that I picked up that's one and I think this might just be my favorite that I'll be using a lot of it has the hashtag for by the well for God along with the the truck that is so very reminiscent of by the well for God and all the other floral pieces I can see myself uh, using this particular floral piece the basket with a draping succulent sticking it to this one and turn it into a hanging piece in my journal and it's always good to have your mark pieces your art marks and then praise hands This kit, uh, one of the coordinating pieces for this kit as well, including uh, gelatos that were already color swatched, that were already picked up, picked out and in a bundle, you just had to go ahead, select and purchase. I haven't been using my gelatos a lot lately, but I can't wait to go ahead and use these iridescent ones. We have uh, Blue Moon. Amethyst, we have Canary Diamond, Quartz Rose, Coral, Jade, and Aquamarine. Also included in this kit was the Fantastics. I haven't used this a lot. I do have a personal set for myself that I haven't used a lot. These are real, really nice to use along with the Versa Magic ink. I will do a video of how we could use this in our journaling and I'll upload that again at a later date. Now all these pieces for these kits, I will place a link for that as well in the description box below. I really hope that you're going to be joining me along or join me along for the devotions this month. 